Hello again, lovely people. Steve O'Hare, here, aka The Running Englishman, who's simply here to inspire you to be the best and fittest version of yourself. Because if I can manage to do it, then I think you can too. So I'm just going to do a real quick video today. I know I always say they're going to be quick and end up being quite long, but today is going to be a short one. Um, as I've had a, about eight days off of doing a Maffetone method um, last week on a little holiday with my family, I just want to do a quick update to see where I am since getting back into running and if that has had any effect on it at all. So don't go anywhere, I'll be back with you in a GIF. Okay, so um, like I said, I had a little uh, holiday last week in the Forest of Dean in England. Um, just got in before lockdown, so that was a little bit of luck there. Um, so basically, I had eight days of not doing the method. Um, I did have all intentions of doing it when, whilst I was there. And I went out for a run uh, like last Sunday or something like that. And honestly, you've never seen hills like it. It was pointless. Even walking up the hills, they were so steep that my heart rate was up. So it's, I know it's okay to do that for your training and stuff like that, but it did feel a little bit pointless. Um, I did find a nice forest though when I was going about and I just decided to do it as a bit of recording instead of um, doing a full on run, but it ended up being about four miles long. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically eight days, I completely jacked in the method. I didn't go there planning on eating salad in that all week. I was going there to put my feet up. I have a busy lifestyle at home, so I was gonna make the most of that holiday and just eat whatever I wanted really. So. Um, I ain't gonna lie, the only bit of healthy food was probably the little slice of lettuce that was in my burger. So um, yeah, um, what I did notice was straight away, um, I've done quite a lot of research on how the brain works. I'm really interested in sleep and stuff like that as well, as boring as that sounds, but I'm not a great sleeper. Um, I know that when you're in a place like that, you're in fight or flight um, sort of straight away. And I noticed in the morning and for every day that week that my resting heart rate has gone up to 59 or 60 on some days so usually it's around between 50 and 53 so i'd say it's my resting heart rate had gone up between sort of five and eight every day that i was there so i was trying to work out what that is if you follow my channel you'll know that i've upped my mileage that i do for mafto method i used to do around 20 average 20 miles a week um, i've upped it up to 30 miles a week and i've spread it out a bit so it's no stress on the body and it was I wasn't showing in my rest and heart rate, so I think that's okay. Um, and I've been doing that for two weeks, so um, I'm still trying to decipher whether that means I'm overtraining my heart being my heart rate being higher. But um, I'm trying to work out what it is. Like I'm guessing that like, being there for eight days and not and missing like four runs really of what I'd usually do, and eating a lot of bad foods that they recommend you not to eat and not sleeping too well, I'd, I'd guess that that's knocked me back a little bit because since I've came back, I've done two runs um, two days ago and yesterday. The first one was nine something miles and yesterday was six something miles. Um, on both days, my average um, mile time um, was nine minutes and 36 or nine minutes 37. So, I know that's not particularly slow, but I've been down to eight and a half before. And since introducing the higher mileage, I've been up to around the nine minute mark. So I've kind of, just from having that break, I've added probably 30 to 40 seconds on my average mile pace. So what I really want is is for people to comment and if, if they've done this before, um, how much effect it has on their math times and and whether I've gone completely back to the start and having to work now for months to get it back down or whether whether it will go down fairly fast. I'm kind of regretting doing what I did now, but I am here to be the, the test dummy of all this. Like I always said, I'll report it when it's going well. I'll report it when it isn't going well. And it hasn't gone well for the last week, let's be honest. So yeah, if you could just leave a little note, little message for me in the comments saying if you've had breaks before and how much effect it had on yours. Um, I'd appreciate that. Um, I look forward to um, reporting back to see how fast it comes back down or whether it will or whether I'm back to the start. Um, I've got a long run tomorrow. I'm probably going to do 10 miles um, tomorrow if the weather's good. And um, I'm interested to see if the time starts to drift down or whether it's just staying at the 9.37s for a little while. 
so yeah so that's that's it basically um the message here kids is don't don't quit it for a week if you can help it and if you can try and look after yourself in that time make sure you're getting a lot of sleep and your stress is good and and eat well because <laughs> uh it could soon knock you back is what i've just learned so that's a new lesson for me but as i say i look forward to reporting back in in a few weeks time just to see if i've got myself back to where we were so that's it, last short video for me today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button down here for me if you haven't seen before. And, um, and we'll go through it all together. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you again. Steve-o.